trending this week in BJJ MMA and the world of the internet. What is hot, Joe Town? Uh, I've been getting around this Hodger Gracie Lex Fridman podcast. Oh, do I, tell. Yeah, I really dug it. I've been on a bit of a Lex Fridman kick lately. Okay. I like his interviewing style. I like the slow, relaxed pace that he has. Mm. And he had Hodger Gracie on, who is also a very slow, relaxed gentleman. He is. He taught um, Misa, my partner, heard me listening to her while I was washing dishes. And she's like, who's that guy? And I was like, oh, it's Hodger Gracie. And, she's, and I told her a bit about him. And she's like, fuck, he sounds like an old man. And it's just because <laughs> he has this like deep, booming kind of he wise does, voice. Yeah. But um, I, I really thought that was a cool one. He, I mean, they talk a lot about like all sorts of things, actually. Um, they cover a bit of like technique stuff, which I didn't really care to hear. But um, what I really liked about it, he was talking about where a lot of jujitsu people fail as competitors. Okay. And he says, if you train jujitsu to be tough, then you will become tough. But if you want to be the best, then you need to train your weaknesses. Mm. And he's like, this is, this is what holds a lot of people back is they, they spar to win and to be tough. And I, I'm like, yeah, right here. <laughs> um, Guilty. He's like, if, but if, you know, for the people who can address their weaknesses, those are the people that will succeed in competition. It's really great. Um, and, you know, he just talks about it for himself where he's like, there's no position that I don't feel extremely comfortable in. Right. Like, no, like nobody, can, nobody can hold me here. Nobody yes. can catch me here. Yeah. He's like, so if I end up there, it's not a problem. He's like, I've trained with the guys who have the best guard in the world. And once you pass their guard, they're shit. Yes. You know, he says it all very respectfully. Oh, sure. Um, but it's just like, wow, that's a, it's a fucking great point. Great point. As a, as a dude, when you're bumping hands, it's like you want to win, right? Sure. So I think it just points to that whole, that whole thing that we've been talking a bit about recently of like, man, if you can go in with a bit of an intention, mm-hmm. it goes a long way. Yeah, and he's a lovely guy. I, I've met Hodger a bunch of times, and he's never not lovely. <laughs> you know, yeah, right? It's interesting. You know, he's he's a giant human. You big forget, tall guy. Yeah, he's so broad. Shoulders on him, are like just so wide. And from speaking with other people who know him very well, he's a very humorous guy. He he likes to play a few pranks and okay, yeah, funny guy. Um, yeah, no, check, awesome. check it out. Worth a listen, fam. Lex Friedman. And then uh, recently uh, something occurred. Our guy, Owen Flanagan, he, uh, you were saying he... Ah, took out the hillbilly hammer. He did. Jacob Couch. Yeah, and I mean, look, he's no... Jacob Couch is no slouch. He's a beast. I like that. Uh, and yeah, we, we had the pleasure of getting to chat with both of those guys at ADCC, see, right? Yeah. We, we just chucked the video up yesterday of our little quick little interview with um, the Hillbilly Hammer. <laughs> we surprised him, man. We just jumped on him like, hey, <laughs> Jacob, hey, go on. What do you oh, eat for breakfast? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. bang energy drink, y'all. Yeah, he's like, uh, caffeine before I train. And then he's like, <laughs> and then, yeah, like eats afterwards. Man, yeah. I love that. He listed off the things like, you were like, what about after a soup fight? He's like, anything fried, pizza, <laughs> pasta. He's so <laughs> lovely. He's, guy. he's a really good dude and humble and a beast. Yeah. And man, Owen, a beast. Yeah, so interesting, right? Because Owen was such a standout at ADCC. Yeah. Um, but still, I would say like kind of in the shadows a bit because he's in the UK and they yes. just don't get the same exposure. No. And you look at like Daisy Fresh, they get all the exposure because Flow sure. Grappling's on that end. YouTube. Um now like yeah him and owen i think they fought in the uk i think it was a local event yep and um owen got the w he's a fucking savage he is and he's jacked up he's a big guy bro he's like yeah he's muscled up so i mean it's kind of cool i think it would be just great grapplers in the uk it'd be good to see him get more shine absolutely yeah, yeah I, I i haven't seen the match but i was excited for that i feel like the hillbilly hammer probably had a point to prove because he didn't qualify for Right. ADCC. Yeah. So it's probably been a hard loss for him because he's like, fuck, I wanted to get one against someone that qualified. Yeah, definitely. You know, a trials winner and shit. But um, I'm super excited to see where both of their careers go. I, think I like it's, them both. I think it's a maturity thing. I don't know how they are technically on age, but it strikes me that um, Owen is probably a little bit more mature with it and has developed a bit more as an athlete. Whereas, you know, Jacob was only, but only got his black belt not that long ago. You know, he was a brown belt world champion. But right. And he's very game. He'll fight pretty much anyone. But, you know, maybe he's got to be on that black belt a little bit longer. Man, Owen has one of the most kind of rational and relaxed views of jiu-jitsu of any competitor I've ever met. Yeah. Yeah, he's just like, he's like, man, it's just jiu-jitsu. Like, that relax. Blo- that blows my mind. I, I only have ever met one other person who has that style. Who was that? Which is, uh, Dan Cherubin. Okay. <laughs> he's the kind of guy who just catches a nap, wakes up, 
his warm up is just you know yeah I, I remember this one time I was with him they were like where's Dan Dan Cherubin it's the final <laughs> you know he just gets up and someone goes oh what's your, what's your game plan like, what are you going to do he's like oh, I was just going to do jiu jitsu man <laughs> like, that's, that's my strategy what a baller <laughs> so chill I'm like how like I'm a hype beast I've got to be so hype but it, it is amazing to meet these people who just you know do my thing and he, and he said that to us literally at the end of day one, which was he'd fought against Shanji. Yep. And had he had his second fight? Yeah, and he'd he'd, he'd beaten um, Mason Fowler. Mason Fowler. So like two of the fucking like two best. like yeah like top ten guys in that yeah. division, and he f- smoked them both. Yeah. And then he's and he's like talking about how they're just like getting super like Mason was all fucking uh, a little feisty because because he got the he tapped him and whatever and. Shanji was a bit salty and he's like, relax guys, it's just jujitsu. Just jujitsu. <laughs> like, bro, that's sick. It's a great, it's a great attitude to have. It's a really nice kind of counterpoint to the typical hardcore mentality. Shout out to him too. I, I did a podcast recently on the Jungle Brothers podcast with his strength coach, uh, Charles Allen Price. Charles, yes. We also hung out with there. Good man. They both run a show together. Check them out. It's the Charles, Charles and Owen experience. I believe it's on all major platforms now. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, they're good guys. Now, I want to just highlight, put a little highlight on uh, an amazing achievement, which is uh, a guy I only know through the internet, but I always give him a shout out on, just on Instagram. It's a guy called Clinton Terry. On the Instagram, he is the bland, blind grappler. He uh, just yes. got his black belt. Yes. And I believe, from what I can understand from his camp and everybody, he's the first blind grappler from New Zealand and Australia to get a black belt. Wow, yeah. And this guy competes. Like he as, he as seems a to compete belt. all the time. And, and win a fair bit. Yeah. Like, he's not just in there like I had a crack. He's beaten dudes. Yeah. I can't even imagine what that takes to, be, to have the audacity. Not the audacity, but to have the courage. But I, I can't really see, but... My jiu-jitsu is good enough. I mean, obviously, jiu-jitsu is a very kinesthetic, hands-on thing. But to just repeatedly show up and be like, yep, I don't care about this disability. I am going full, you know, I'm going in hard. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. I I was just like amazed. So I just wanted to shout you out. If you ever hear this, um, Clinton Mann, the blind grappler from New Zealand, much respect, much love, huge achievement. Yeah, I really enjoy following his stuff on social media. He's very, like, active with it. He yep. tells his story really well. I think he was saying that uh, in one post he cops some shit from people over being blind or something. Like that's so weird. Yeah, really. Like you're like well, I can't even like who the fuck would talk. Why like, would you do that? To right. Um, I may, yeah. Anyway, it's um it's incredible to think that there's folks out there that could find a way to criticize that. But yeah, what an inspiring dude. He put a cool post up the other day of him and his wife. Yes, which I thought was awesome. And thanking her for all her support and yeah, what that took and. Yeah, he replies to comments. So I think he has like an assistant, uh, one of his students. There pro- there's probably a setting, oh, for, right. I'm guessing, for like impaired, visually impaired or stuff. Yeah. On, there'd have to be. Mate, his, his, his reply on comments, his etiquette is way better than ours. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, if I, if I put a comment there like, man, so good to, like, you know, so good that you're doing this thing and much love and whatever. I'm, I get a notification like straight away, <laughs> like, I'm like, wow, this guy's on the gram. He can't see. He's just got those senses. He just knows. It's incredible. Like, I, I, I love this guy. I'm so stoked he goes black belt. So I wanted to just take a minute and go shout out to this guy. If you don't know who he is, at the blind grappler, he's a beast. Clint yeah, Terry. put a link to his account in the show notes. Hey, should do. Awesome. That's training for the week. Thank you, fam. Do you? you.